Hello everyone. Welcome to our tutorial videos on FreshBooks Cloud Accounting. Today's video, we're going to show you how to create and send your first invoice in FreshBooks. So we're going to click on the Invoices tab. You then want to make sure you're sitting on the sub-tab Invoices. And on the right-hand side, we want to click on the green New Invoice button. We then need to enter your client's details. So we're just going to click on the down arrow and we're going to select New Client. However, all FreshBooks needs is an email address and an organization name. So for this demonstration, those are the two required fields that I'm going to enter. Please make sure that you enter all the required fields before you email off any invoices to your clients. One way to look professional is to make sure that all the required fields are entered. So I'm just going to go ahead and enter the email address the organization name. Once all the required fields are entered, you're going to come down to the bottom and you're going to click on the green Save Client button. You'll notice now it says New Invoice and our client is Landscaping Design. On the far right hand side, you want to make sure that your invoice number is correct, you have the correct date, and if you do use any PO numbers or you're giving your client a discount, these are the two fields that you need to enter. You then have an area that says online payment and this is an easy way for your clients to pay you via PayPal or even use the FreshBooks online payment. The reason why I like the FreshBooks payment method is FreshBooks will automatically import all my payment transactions fees as expenses into FreshBooks and this would basically just save you so much time. Also you can view the status of your payment directly on your account dashboard. Thirdly, if you know what, if you have any issues, all you've got to do is just call the FreshBooks support team directly and you'll get support right away. Now you want to go ahead and create your invoice. You'll notice now you have an area that says task and then you have time entry, rates and hours. What I'd like to do is, for this invoice, we're actually going to use the task and we're also going to use items. So coming down on the left hand side, I'm going to click on the down triangle to the right and I'm going to select add an item. You'll notice now once I've selected item, I have something called unit cost and quantity. So I'm just going to explain the difference to you. So let's just say for example, you are hosting an event for a client and you need to buy things like wine glasses, flowers, tablecloths. Those are examples of items. You would create your item, you'd put in your unit cost and the quantity. Now, for my landscaping design, I need to go and create some items. The first thing I'm going to do is, I'm just going to click on the dri down triangle and I'm going to go new item. And I went and I purchased some lemon trees. And all you need to do is you just press your tab key and I'm just going to put um, lemon trees for back area. Press tab and they cost me $150 and I purchased three and all I need to do now as well is I want to put in the tax so I'm going to click on HST and make sure now that you click on the green save item button. There you go, you have your first item. Let's decide now that we did some potted plants. So once again, I'm going to click on the down triangle and I'm going to go new item. And I'm going to go potted plants. I don't need a description. And actually they cost me um, $15 each. And I bought 12 once again, I'm just going to do the HST. And just so you're aware, when you use these items again, the HST will automatically come up for you. It's going to press Tab and Save. You'll notice how your invoice is starting to build. You have a subtotal and you have your taxes. Now you need to go in and you need to charge for your time. So that would be a task. So I think I already have landscaping and I do so I'm just going to select landscaping and just so you know if I scroll down it's exactly the same as item I can just select new task and I'm just going to put my I'm just going to put um, landscaping 
design services and my rate was $65 and I spent 12 hours once again we want the tax and you'll notice as well every time I move my mouse I get a little red X and if I move my mouse on there that's how easy it is in FreshBooks if you need to go and delete a line there we go there's our subtotal and we have our taxes and we have our balance then we have two fields we have terms and notes visible to clients so if you want to go in and enter any notes this is where you would do it so I'm actually going to put um, a very nice message in And for the terms, I'm going to put, please pay your invoice within 30 days. Coming down, you have an area where it says save as draft. And this sometimes can be useful if you're not sure if you need to add anything else to your invoice. So what you could actually do is it allows you to preview and edit an email when you're ready. What I'm going to do now is I'm just going to click send by email. If you want, you can actually add another message in and I'm just going to go ahead and click on the green send button. We get a nice message back from FreshBooks saying your invoice has been sent. And you have a couple of options. You can go ahead and you can preview your invoice. If you want, you can actually download a PDF or go ahead and create another invoice. So let's go ahead and preview our invoice. If I move my mouse on send, it will say your client has been notified. When they log in, the invoice will be visible for printing and payment. And just so you know, I'm actually going to show you what it looks like on your client's end because it's also going to look a little bit different when it comes to their menus and their headers. So let's take a look and see what your client... So this is what your client will receive in the inbox and we'll say to them, click the link below. So all they're going to do is they're going to click on the email and it will bring them to an invoice that looks almost like the one that you have from FreshBooks but you'll notice that the menu and the headers are different. Now your client can go ahead and pay now. There's also a forward button, dispute, they can print a PDF or they can go ahead and print. Now I really like this forward button because have you ever had a client that you know what you're waiting for payment they delay you because they're saying oh you know what it's got to actually go to the finance department or to our accountant so now all your client has to do is simply click on the forward button and then enter the recipient's name and away you go now another nice feature about FreshBooks invoicing system is that it shows an invoice autobiography so if I go down to the bottom there we go And what I like about this is next time a client tells you that they have not received your invoice all you have to do is just take a look at the invoice autobiography. Why? Because FreshBooks tracks the precise moment an invoice gets viewed along with the entire history listed below. Thank you for taking the time for watching this video. Please contact us if you'd like to know more about our FreshBooks training and also take a look at all our other videos we have posted.